Hello, my name is James, I'm the Mayor of Jamestown, and today I've got a bit of an interesting one for you. So, the other day, I was playing a bit of Genshin Impact, I say the other day, this was literally yesterday. I was playing a bit of Genshin Impact, you know, exploring Sumeru, ignore the fact I'm in Mondstadt, that's not the point. Just casually enjoying my, my Yanfei team, as I do, big Yanfei fan. And then she died, so I needed to use a different DPS, so I was like, okay, we'll use Raiden. And she was a lot of fun. So I've not played Raiden outside of just using her E as really useful utility for basically any team that needs elemental reactions. So I was like, okay, Yamfei's dead. I can't be asked to go and come back to where I was after healing. And I didn't want to use my revive items because why would I? That's crazy. So I was like, right, we'll just use Raiden and see how things go. And unsurprisingly, being Electro, she does a ton of, you know, just elemental reactions. So I accidentally came up with a team that is really fun. Um, and I just wanted to sort of demonstrate it. We'll Shogun you. I thought the pun was really good. That's honestly the main reason I'm showing this. I'm just pleased with the pun. So the team is made up of Raiden Shogun as main DPS um ideally you want her to have her q active because obviously electro damage Zhangling, you could probably switch her out for anyone that does sort of consistent aoe damage so for instance you could also use Kaz kazuha it's up to you really i have Zhangling built i don't have kazuha built and I'm quite pleased with my Zhangling at the minute. She's not amazing, but she's pretty decent. Replace her with anyone that does sort of the AoE slingshot type thing. So Kazaha or her, I would recommend, is probably the best options that I, that I select. In my preference, anyway. Yelan. I just like Yelan over Jingzhou because I feel like she does more damage because she's a 5-star. But I also have a C6, Jincho, who does pretty much the exact same thing. Their ults are very similar, it's just they activate slightly differently. So if you don't have Yelan, it doesn't matter, just use Jincho, it's just as good. And then of course, Beidou, who is in pretty much all of my elemental teams, because Beidou is fantastic. She is non-negotiable. I mean, you could probably replace her, but I don't think it's as fun. I prefer to have her. I mean, you could probably replace it with Shincho. Or maybe Kazuha, because then you've got Freeze, and then Melt, and then whatever Electro does with those elements, I can't remember. But I just really like Beidou, plus, you know, the recharge with two energy characters is always really good. So, yeah, big fan of this team. Allow me to just demonstrate by going somewhere where I can test it, really. And here we are, at everybody's favourite test subject, the Regisvine. Or more specifically, the Cryo Regisvine. Now, I could do the electric one, but I've not fought it yet, so I'm not going to. And I could do the Pyro one, but then Zhangling would be completely useless, and uh, yeah. So I'm going to do the Cryo one, because Cryo doesn't resist any of these elements. So let's go. So I've not actually fought the Cryo Regisvine in a very long time. So I think you just break this. Okay. Be good if we dodged. Let's break this. And then we'll... There we go. Right. So then we just kind of ult a bunch. But we'll pop you down as well. And then... You just kind of left click, and then <laughs> so much happens. Yeah. So, I'm currently using this team in the overworld, just because I'm here for a bit of change in my team lineup. Nothing survives. I mean, it's the overworld, so there's not really anything too hard to come across. I don't really want the ley line, to be honest. Yeah, there's not really anything <laughs> to really test the team on length-wise in terms of time, because everything just 
kind of dies really quickly. But, uh, yeah. Right, what we'll do is we'll give it a couple of minutes and then uh, we'll go back to the Regisvine and uh, give it another try. <laughs> Here we are. We're at a new Regisvine this time. So I thought I'd try it out with Kaya this time around. Unfortunately, I don't have really anything for him to equip because he's not built. So I am literally just going to put on whatever four piece. You know, we'll make it a five piece. Why not? There you go. It's a four. <laughs> it's a four piece. Actually, have we got a weapon I can shove on you? Just uh, none of these are useful. It just it's fine. This is just for testing's sake, anyway. So I thought I could do the pyro reg is fine, just for something a little bit different. So this time around, we've got obviously we've got Raiden Shogun again, Kaya instead of Zhangling for Cryo rather than Pyro, Jing Cho because. Not everyone's going to have your land, which is fine. Jingcho, I've not tested, but in theory should work exactly the same as your land does, just slightly different. Plus, he's got the added benefit of, you know, being the Sack Sword King. So, you know, he's almost always got his ult. Beidou. I like Beidou too much to ever really replace. If you wanted an another replacement, you could probably replace... Raiden, if you don't have her and you wanted a, f if you s for some reason only had four stars, could possibly do Razor because his Q does proc Electro. It's not ideal because obviously Run Shogun hits a lot and really quickly, whereas Razor doesn't. He tends to hit more hard than he does fast. Although his ult does make him quicker, but again, it's not ideal. the The team is really built around how fast Ryan Shogun is and, you know, how much she procs. But anyway, let's get started. Again, I will preface that Kaya has almost no damage to his name. I don't use him. He's not built. Um, Rain, he your fate. just has his kit on just to hopefully bring the damage up ever so slightly. Right, so you're up. Higher up. Don't know why I just need his Kaya. And then we just left click a bunch of times. So I'll be honest, the damage isn't as impressive, but that I pull down to him. He's level 40, he's got five artifacts of Cryo. It is not ideal, it is not. You know, if he's in your team, he should be level 80 at the very least. The team is a lot of fun. If you've got a Ryan Shogun, you can pretty much put her in any team because her E is just so universally good. It's just insane. It's so, it's just so much utility in terms of team comps. But yeah, big fan of... This team was my Zhangling. There she is. Again, you don't need Yilan. You can use Jingcho. It's not a massive diff. It's not a massive deal breaker. I just like Yilan just because I, I feel like she does a little bit more. In terms of her Q, it's a little bit faster. I feel as well, but again, Jingcho, I used up until I got Yilan. And Yilan just barely peters him out at this point. So, yeah, you don't need Yilan. Jing, Zhangling, pretty much everyone has. Beidou, pretty much everyone has. Raiden Shogun, unfortunately not everyone's going to have. But if you're looking for a Raiden Shogun team, um, I would definitely recommend this one. Well, Shogun Yu is honestly my favorite part of all time. I'm a big fan of just how it plays. It does a bunch of damage, does a ton of... Elemental procs, which is honestly where most of the fun comes in with Genshin Impact in the first place anyway. Um, I'll demonstrate what I've got on them. I wouldn't. It's not ideal. My builds are never ideal. I, I'm just not. I'm not a very good builder. Let's just put it that way. But if you want some kind of, I don't know, frame of reference. Skyward Spine, I'm purely using just because it's a five star. <laughs> It's a five-star polearm. 
It's one of two five-star weapons I actually own. Previously, I was using the Deathmatch, but that was mainly because of the crit rate. I don't have a lot of crit rate on her. I don't have a crit rate hat, which I need over the crit rate damage to be over the crit damage to be honest, because she just she doesn't have enough crit rate on her items right now. But I don't like farming very often, so it doesn't help. So yeah, Deathmatch is kind of what I'd recommend. You can also use the catch. I, I wasn't a big fan of the catch on her. I felt like it didn't do much or enough. But yeah, you can use the catch. Plus the energy recharge is nice. Um, her artifacts. Just the the uh, Severed Fate one. Energy recharge is just really good on her. Even though mine is absolutely atrocious, as you can see. Not very good. This one got very lucky, I will admit. Got very lucky with the damage. Um, this one is literally the only energy recharge I had. Again, not a great electro damage cup. It, it is what it is. And this... Why is this attack? This shouldn't be attack. I think I'm using it just because the crit damage is quite high. But I don't have any of these hats that I'm currently using. And this one is being used by Yolan, so I can't really use them on both characters. So I really need to farm for more Emblem of Severed Fate, but... It is what it is. I can't really do much about that at the minute. Obviously with Zhang Ling, we got the four-piece pyro set. I like four-piece pyro. I, I know some people say that four-piece pyro isn't always necessary, but I like it for simplicity's sake. It's not amazing. Again, not amazing. Not amazing. I don't even know if this is meant to be attack. I've not done anything to my Zhang Ling in months. Power damage, again, not an amazing cut, but the crit damage is, is okay. Energy recharge definitely needs to be higher. Her energy recharge is not great. Um, and this is the only, like, crit damage hat I have other than... Wait, that's crit rate anyway. Yeah, this is pretty much the only crit damage hat I have. It is not very good. Um, I should probably share their stats. But yeah, again, it's not amazing. Let me just quickly go back and show... Raiden's, yeah, honestly with Raiden, the more energy recharge, the better. Her crit rate is abysmal. I need to fix this. I really need to fix this. But the fact that she's not well built and still destroying people with elemental reactions is honestly just is great. We got Yelan over here. Her crit rate isn't amazing. Her crit damage is also not amazing. Her energy recharge is fine. She has hydro damage. Yeah, she's... Pretty standard, what she got on. She's got the Emblem of Severed Fate as well. Yeah, not... Yeah, I really need to grind some of the Emblem of Severed Fate because just... It's terrible. The The sets I've got are terrible. My Bado, again, it's not very well built. I mean, look at this. This is, this is not what you want. I like the four-piece Thundering Fury just because I like the reactions. You could probably replace this with something else. I'm not 100% sure on what. But I really like the elemental reactions side of things of Thundering Fury. Um, This one isn't terrible. This one is abysmal. Oh my god. I didn't even know she had this equipped. This I need to fix. This is atrocious. I don't know what that's doing there. And this is just unfortunate that it went all into attack and then once in HP. So yeah, Beidou again, as you can see, my characters aren't very well built because I tend to build them once and then I'm done. That's, as long as they work and are doing enough damage to keep up with, you know, my day-to-day -day stuff, then I'm not really fussed, um, at, like completely min-maxing their entire build. As you can see, Beidou is extremely poorly built her crit rate is atrocious her crit damage is also atrocious her energy recharge however is pretty solid plus with favonia sword it's just a good time this is pretty much always triggering at 90 percent i'm i do quite like her with favonia sword you can also use oh what is it sacrificial sword i don't like it as much as i do favonius on her for some reason Yelan has the stringless because obviously her elemental burst is is ideally as strong as possible. Zhang Ling has death march only because 
I wanted extra crit rate and she's currently using Skyward Spine. So I thought you might as well get the extra crit rate. Yeah, Beto, not, not perfectly built. Um, in terms of Zhang Ling, what's he at? His crit rate could be better. His crit damage is is fine, I guess. His energy recharge is pretty nice. I'm quite happy with his energy recharge. Um, sacrificial sword, obviously. Zhang Ling pretty much always needs a sacrificial sword. Um, where's the heart? There it is. Or oh, the flower, even. Yeah, again, not great. Pretty decent. I'm fairly pleased with this. It's not amazing, but it's pretty decent. This one is fine. It does the job. His Hydra Damage Cup is is okay, I guess. This is abysmal. I need to... Oh my god. I, <laughs> I didn't realize how much I needed to fix all of my characters. So many of my characters need to be need to be fixed. Um, and then the last one was obviously Kaya, which I don't have built at all. So ignore the, the Kaya. But yeah, that's everyone's builds pretty much in a in a quick little nutshell. So yeah, I'm really enjoying this team. I'm playing it a lot at the moment. It's probably going to be sort of my go-to team at the minute just because it's so much fun because you're just constantly doing so many different elemental reactions so uh yeah thought i'd show it off so that maybe someone else can have some fun with it as well but uh yeah that's about it now i've been james thank you for those that stuck around until the end be sure to like comment subscribe and all of that good stuff and until next time goodbye